So you have a lamp you want to test, but you need to use our meters here. So one of the circuits that you could set up is something like this, a battery or power source connect to the lamp. And you need to include the air meter somewhere, of course, to measure current. Um, okay, so I think, oh, volt meter, sorry, forgot about the volt meter. So volt meter, you have to connect it in parallel with the lamp if you want to measure the potential difference across the lamp. Okay. You want to determine resistance. Okay, so what? how do we use the information? If you want the lamp to operate normally, you need to give it its normal rating. So 12 volts, which means this fella will be 12 volts. Okay, and secondly, the 1.2 watt refers to the lamp's power rating. In other words, the lamp will give out a brightness of, you know, brightness and power is kind of equivalent. They're related. So this will be 1.2 watts. From there, you know you have V and you have P. Hmm. Hmm. This is this is a uh, what is this called? This is V of the lamp. This is P of the lamp. So can you find I? I think we can. If we use the equation P equals to IV, we can know what the current is flowing through that lamp. So let's do that. 1.2 watts. That's very small current. And the power, uh, sorry, potential difference across the lamp. So 1.2. Oh, sorry, 12, not 1.2. So 1.2 divided by 12 is 0 0.1. Sounds about right <coughs> for current. If you look at the answer, 10, 10 ampere is really big for a lamp. I can probably cancel that out already. But now it kind of confirms my range is about 0 0.1. So this is this, this fine. Now voltmeter range. It's about 12 volts. Why would you need 100 volts? That is really, really big. So you would need something between 0 to 20 to detect the 12. That's just nice. So the best answer will be A. And that is how you can measure the resistance of the lamp. Because now you can calculate. Because here you can just do, oh, P equals to V square over R. Or P equals to I square R. And continue. So that's how you will continue to finish up this experiment. Okay, so that's all for this question. I will see you in the next one.